When the voters of the state of Wyoming send a man to represent them in the United States Senate, they want to know more about him than merely how he feels about an issue or how he votes. They want to know about him as a person, a human being, about his family. In the past 12 years, Wyomingites have come to know Senator McGee well. They know that Gail McGee is not a wealthy man like many senators, that he has the same problems as many of you in supporting a large household and raising four children. Like you, he feels the pinch of the cost of living. And like you, he and his wife Lorraine want to see that their children have the best education possible. Wyomingites also expect their senator to take his job seriously, to work at the job it's his privilege to hold. Senator McGee lives up to that challenge, maintaining a work pace that would exhaust many men half his age. He serves on three major Senate committees, on 13 subcommittees, where much of the real work of the Senate is done. It is here where you make your mark as an effective senator, a successful advocate for your state. It is here and on the Senate floor where you establish your reputation as a spokesman for Wyoming. Uh, Gail McGee has a unique responsibility in the Senate because he is a member, along with me, of the Appropriations Committee and the Committee on Foreign Relations. But in addition, uh, Gail is also chairman of the Committee on Post Office and Civil Service, which entails a great deal of responsibility and which indicates just how far Gail McGee has advanced in the Senate uh, during his period of service uh, in that body. Uh, Gail and I uh, do not always agree, but that is the way a democracy should work. And Gail is about the most independent-minded man that I know of. He thinks things through. He arrives at his own decisions. He's not subject to pressures or arm twisting. And uh, he is one who uh, is uh, willing to see the other side, <clears throat> but uh, is uh, willing to stick to his own convictions as well. And uh, he's one of the most eloquent members of the Senate. And when he rises up to speak, not only for the people of Wyoming, but for the people of the United States of America and indeed the world. His voice is very eloquent. The galleries are usually crowded, and our senators come on that floor to listen to what Gail McGee has to say. He is the most effective advocate. He has managed to get his bills through as if he were the chairman of the committee, to be very frank about it. He's effective not only in general money matters, but when it comes to Wyoming, he is the real ambassador for that state. With the retirement of, uh, of Senator Spencer Holland, the announced retirement this year from the Senate of the United States, uh, Gail McGee will become the next chairman of the Agricultural Appropriations Subcommittee. This is a terrifically important responsibility. To serve your state well, you need to spend much of your time in it, talking and listening to the opinions of your constituents. There is no substitute for face-to-face -face exchanges of ideas and opinions. Gail McGee believes in keeping in touch with Wyoming citizens. That's why he's made hundreds of trips home, has opened and maintained two Wyoming field offices, in Washington, Senator McGee works on those Wyoming ideas and opinions. With 12 years of seniority, he now holds better committee assignments than any other senator. The respect of his colleagues and his key committee roles make him a unique and valuable investment for Wyoming. When you add it all up, Wyoming has a lot going for it in Senator McGee. Family experience, a man who works at his job, who holds the best committee assignments possible, who has the respect of his colleagues, and, as Senator Mansfield says, uh, Gail McGee has his name to a good deal of legislation. Perhaps the people in Wyoming haven't heard much about it, but uh, Gail is one who doesn't always uh, push himself ahead. Uh, he allows others to take a good deal of credit for the work which he has done and who stays in touch with his state and its people. His re-election will guarantee Wyoming the strongest possible voice in Washington. Wyoming's kind of man. Senator McGee for Senator. <laughs>